good morning and welcome to the studio. How are you today? Let me grab my tools, come around the corner. Hello. Welcome to the studio at Two Girls Treasure. I'm Diane Pruitt and we're going to copycat. I've told you 110 times. I'm going to scoot this back so you can see. We can all do the same paint colors try to replicate the same paint job, use the same materials, and none of us are gonna do it exactly the same. Why? It's because of our vision. It's because of our creative vision. Even if we look at somebody's work, now, of course, you can study it and replicate it almost to a T, but, you can also just simply be inspired by the colors, the patterns, the texture, the embellishments, and <clears throat> use that as a guide for your very own. There is an image I cannot share with you yet, but just like at the last release when I did the bedroom suit, we are preparing for the Iron Orchid Designs 2024 Summer Collection, and I was inspired by something I saw. Now, whether it was an AI-generated, superimposed, I loved the finish. I loved the texture, and I'm going to copycat it in my own view. Let's get started. We have this 1960s server type buffet. There's a couple of screws in the top and I'm not really sure why. We've got a couple of drawers, so we'll take those out first and get those out of the way. And we clearly need to make a repair here because this is not attached. You'll find with a lot of the older pieces, oh look, this one doesn't even have a runner. There we go. That's what we're working with. It's okay. I have a file drawer full of wooden runners. We'll just make some new. We've got a couple of doors down here, a really flimsy shelf inside that we're probably going to need to replace with something usable. And then this center panel that doesn't come out, you can't see, can you? There we go. Let me show you. So we have the wooden runner here, the metal runners there. We'll fit this with wood. We've got the doors. They're actually in pretty good shape. That center panel that doesn't move. Don't we all love this? There's no support behind it either. So it's not like we could hinge it and make it a different piece. We need to clean this up, clean it out, get the hardware off, find out why these screws are through the top. That's just so weird. They punctured it. Yeah, they punctured it. There's one over here too. I don't know what people do to furniture sometimes, but this was probably not one of the better programs. So we'll take those out. And now we're ready to move forward. First things first, we're going to use our salt wash. Got the big can. We are going to use our blue lace. This is limited edition. We are selling out. I can order one more time before it probably vaults and we won't have it anymore. And one of my favorite summertime yellows and I match today. This is sunflower. Where do we start? With our prep. Let me grab a cleaning cloth out of my stash and let's prep this. This is a laminate top construction. Can you, can you paint this? Of course you can. Prep it first. Prep it well. and our Rethunk Junk paint products will adhere. Now 
we're on a rolly cart with no locks on the wheels. And this has some crust on it. I'm not going to scrape it with my fingernails. I'm just going to scrape it off with a razor blade. That's so much easier. Piece of tape, scrape it with the blade. Extra finish, scrape it with the blade. Get it off of there. Get your surface good and smooth. I don't think this needs our carbide blade. I don't think that's what we need to use here. There's just little pieces and parts as we go across and the prep will loosen it. The blade will remove it. And we have a nice surface to start with. We go around the edges. This thing is really dirty. Old furniture, y'all. You gotta love doing dirt to do old furniture. You can do newer pieces. You can. They need dolling up too sometimes. Now let's get the hardware off and do the drawers. We'll get that price tag off because once we finish with this, that price tag is no longer relevant here. Let's, and we're missing a couple of knobs because if you'll look at the drawer, it should have a couple of fake knobs right here. So we should probably change this whole thing. We'll see what we can come up with and make work well. That's not easy to say, make it work well. We'll figure this out as we move forward. Hardware is not a great big deal. And because we have new products coming, we even have something we may be able to work with coming in that collection. I can't exactly tell you what I'm thinking, but today I'm thinking <clears throat> blue lace, salt wash, and sunflower. It's such a great combination. Blue lace, salt wash and sunflower do you have some if you do grab it and work along with me and when we get to the release we will revisit and i'll show you how stunning we can make this now where the handle was you always have a little lighter section because the dirt didn't get back there but then you have a ridge where the dirt built up around the handle. The prep will loosen it, the blade will take it off because if you don't take it off and you change the hardware, you're gonna have that ridge and it's gonna show. This hardware's been on there since the 60s, y'all. Oh, that's yucky. Take that ridge straight back down. Get as much of that off as you can so that you don't have that ghosting if you're gonna change the hardware. And I'm probably going to. Now, as I'm prepping, I can smell the nicotine. I can smell the smoke. So I'm probably going to prep again does the prep take the nicotine off? Yes, it does. Uh, several years ago, we did a video to show you a cabinet that was absolutely gorgeous. French provincial walnut china cabinet. And it had been in so much cigarette smoke in its life that as I sprayed the prep, you could just see the nicotine running off. If you've got a really smoky piece and you don't know how to overcome the stench of the cigarettes, there's a couple of different things you can do. First, prep and get off as much of the dirt and build up as you can. We just made that a whole new drawer. Looks nothing like it started. Look at the difference. Looks nothing like what it started as. But if, in fact, once you work through it and you um, start painting it, or at least once you start prepping it, if you've got a really strong smell, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, I use white vinegar to clean. White vinegar gets a lot of the smells out. 
of old furniture because it's old furniture, y'all. And if that does not work, get um, get a cheap bottle of vodka and wash it down with the vodka. If you have mold, you should probably not be working with moldy pieces of furniture. Uh, if it's got a little bit, because sometimes that's understandable if it's out in a barn, it's going to have a little bit of moisture to it. You can probably wash it down and you might be able to clean it if it comes right back through and give it a day or two. Um, burn it because mold is dangerous and you shouldn't be, shouldn't be working with it. There's people who study in mold remediation for a reason. It is not something that just goes away. Now this one, we've got a lot of pins sticking out of the drawer, so let me get these out without cutting my fingers. Watch these old pieces of furniture. Grandmas used to put straight pins in every drawer they had, and um, you've got to watch those edges of the drawers because there's probably pins in them. Right here in this drawer, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on out. Uh, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I don't know where that one came from. It just fell out. Um, ten. Ten straight pins sticking out of the bottom of the drawer. Watch for those. Do not get stuck with them. If you do, rinse with your antibacterial quickly and soap and water. Spray an antibacterial on it and keep going. And I've done it so many times it doesn't bother me. I, I do all the things. I wash. I put the antiseptic on it. I got a really neat spray bottle of antiseptic from the drugstore the last time I was in. I like it. It cures everything. All right. I'm going to scrape the dirt off from around the drawer handle. I'm going to spray a little bit more prep. The prep is doing a thing here, y'all. It is doing the job it was born to do. And it's getting 50 plus years, almost 60 years of ick. Loosened up. Ew. That'll go in the wash. 50 years, almost 60 years of ick coming off right here. And when we get done, we're gonna have a beautiful piece of furniture. Follow along if you want to grab a small server or a chest or a dresser. And start prepping it. Paint with me, get your salt wash. You don't have all the products that you need to do this. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want to paint along with me on this project, send me a picture of what you're gonna work on. Just private message me a picture of what you believe you're gonna work on. And I will kit and discount everything you need to do this job and then one person who plays along as long as there are more than one person which means I need several of you to play along one person will get the brand new embellishment and I won't say exactly what it is but one person will get the brand new iron orchid designs to finish off the project. If you are kidding with me, kidding, if you are working along with me on this and you buy all the materials, the salt wash, the prep, the sunflower and the blue lace, if you're not the one person who gets the new iron orchid design product free, then you'll get a discount on it. 
let's do that. Get your piece of furniture out, send me a picture, and let's paint along together. It's so much fun to work together, isn't it? Get something out, and let's do this together. It'll be fun, she said. Can you believe all we've prepped is the top and the two drawers? That's, that's all we've prepped. Ew. The rest of it's gonna be pretty serious too, so let me spray this down. Scotto, if you're watching my love, I have a delivery on the south side and I'll need an assist at some point in this day. Doesn't have to be now. Ooh, this side is really, really dirty. I don't know if you can see how dirty it is, but it, it's dirty, dirty. It's dirty, dirty like I need to go get a scrubby dirty. That, it's that dirty. I promise I will wash my hands. Paint, dried spaghetti sauce, I'm sure, because it always gets everywhere. Oh, this never got cleaned, did it? Not in its entire life. I'm gonna spray it and let it sit for just a second. I'm going to spray it heavy, heavy, and we'll use our little trusty scrubby sanding block because there's just enough on here we need to just scrub it off. I'm not sanding. I just don't want to stop and go get a scotch brush. And there's that nicotine rolling off into the floor. Ugh. Lord of mercy, but now, now we have a clean surface to go to. Oh my mercy. It's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna look beautiful. It's not gonna look like this. Swear it. But we're going to have to work for it. Apparently, we're going to have to work for this clean. Oh, sometimes it's not so hard to clean it. Sometimes it just seems near impossible. This side's not so bad. How is that even possible? Pull your furniture out in your kitchen and clean it once in a while. Just once in a while. Clean it. Just clean it. I'm going to get another cleaning cloth. I'm actually just gonna use my paper towels because they're a little bit rougher. They're not quite as scotch bright scrubby, but they're more coarse than the cloth I was using. This is why when I prep, I really love to use A terry cotton cloth because it's nubby and it has a more coarse finish and it really has a tendency to scrub out what's in there the yuck that's what it scrubs out every time we prep it's different isn't it y'all Really want to get this crust off the back ridge edge here. There we go. Pearl's wandering around working this morning, waiting for a delivery that you're going to be excited about. I'm excited about it. Um, you ready for it? I, I am. I think they'll be here today. Y'all have asked me time and time again. Do you have any Adirondack chairs in the inches? Usually, no, they're really expensive and they're hard to stock. 
Well, you know me. If I can find a deal on something that I can bring you a better price, I'd love to. Well, we have a delivery that I'm hoping will come today of some beautiful eucalyptus wood Adirondack chairs just in time for the family picnic, the family gathering, the lake, the beach, whatever y'all are doing for the Independence Day celebration. I'm hoping that truck's going to roll in here anytime and we're going to have what you need for your family to sit down in. Some beautiful, affordable Adirondack chairs. I'll show them to you when they get in. There's limited quantities, but y'all make sure to check us out. Hopefully they'll be here later in the day. This is crusty. Oh, yuck. I'm gonna have to get in there with something a little bit more serious. Now, my top, I'm gonna do gray. But you know I'm not just gonna do plain gray. You know that from the beginning. You know that before I even start painting. But we're going to do a layered finish with our gray and black washes and stains. We're going to make a beautiful barn wood finish out of this top. I may even take these doors off so I can scrub them clean because they're just beyond anything I've had to deal with lately. Let's do that. It's two screws on each door. Let's get those off. Because those, those are just yucky. Let's get those off of there. If you're just joining me, thank you. We're, um, we're going to copy someone. And if you want to play along, come get a kit of all the products I'm working with. And then, when the brand new Iron Orchid Designs comes in, I'll add that to your discounted kit that one screw. There's always that one screw. There we go. I'll discount your kit. I will add the Iron Orchid Designs design to your discounted kit price. And one person who paints along with me will get theirs free. So if you want to do a paint along, now's the time. Let's copy someone. Right now you'll have to trust me on what that looks like. is the problem child. Look at it. Take the door down so I can get to it. Yeah, these are probably going to have to go outside for some pressure cleaning. This is crazy dirty. Crazy dirty. But that's okay. I'm going to wash three or four times when I'm done with this live. And 
then I might put some gloves on to go outside and clean. I'm going to clean where the hinges were. Same thing as the drawer handles. We've got a buildup right there. I'm going to come across this bottom edge. We've got a buildup there. Your kitchen is the dirtiest. Not dirtiest. Your kitchen has the most grease buildup of anywhere in the home, and that's simply because it's the kitchen. You cook, and even when you clean, you still have residue. Now, my sister's better at it than I am, but she does spring cleaning and fall cleaning. Everything gets clean. Everything gets scrubbed. We learned it from our mama. And this is why. Even on the darkest days, my mama's furniture would have never been this dirty. Not tough. there and let me clean where these hinges are shoot it looks like they stained this with the hinges on that's like painting with the hinges on all right I'm gonna smooth this down with the sander this is not an expensive piece it wasn't expensive to begin with it's Got some good construction to it, but it's not a phenomenal piece of furniture. It's decent. We're going to make it beautiful. I'm going to try not to knock it off the rolly cart. My rolly cart stuck on yeah, a piece of wood. Imagine that. But we're going to make it really beautiful. We're going to start with the top and work our way down. Shoo! I'm going to be honest, y'all. All right, there was a workout. My hands are orangey brown now, and I've gone through five pieces of paper towel and one cleaning rag, and I still have to scrub those doors down. Prepping is not easy, but it's necessary. Do the prep work. Do the steps first so that in the end, your finish is exactly what you intend for it to be. Blue lace, sunflower, you can get a pint, salt wash, and a prep, you can get an eight ounce. Buy those four products, save 10% as long as you're painting along with me. Send me a picture of your project that you're going to work on. I'll send you a coupon code, and one person will qualify to win one of the brand new iron orchid designs transfers so that when we are finished when we get those transfers in stock we will all have a copycat piece of furniture but i can't wait to see how many different variations of copycat we're gonna be play along with me this will be fun get out a small piece of furniture and play along Buy these four products and save 10%, and then you will save on the Iron Orchid Design Transfer from the 2024 Summer Collection. One person who paints along with me will get one for free. Doesn't get any better than that now, does it? I'm excited. Paint along with me, y'all. I'm Diane Pruitt. We're in the studio at Two Girls Treasure. I'm going to get out of here and take these nasty little doors outside to clean them where I don't have any of that gook building up. I don't know. I might stay in the air conditioning. It's kind of hot out already today. Join me again in the morning as we start layering the top of this. This project is not going to take a long time, so make sure you tune in. 9 a.m. tomorrow morning right here at the studio at Two Girls Treasure. Have a wonderful and a blessed day. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you in the morning. Bye, y'all.